Welcome to the Coach and Crew Show. Get ready to take things to the next level. And now, the host of the Coach and Crew Show, the coach, Charlie Krause. And welcome to the Coach and Crew Show, where, as Eric introduced you, I am your host, Charlie Krause. Not always good news to report. Week one, I was dancing. Undefeated straight up in my picks, three and one against the spread. Week two, I was dancing. Six and three straight up, nine and oh against the spread. Then week three hit. Four wins straight up. Two wins. Seven losses ATS. Oof. That one hurt. I feel the blood coming out my nose still. It was not pretty. But regardless, we're here for the weekend wrap-up show. And we're going to tell you who we're going to give our game balls out to this weekend. And we're going to go over my new top 25 with the big boys coming to play this upcoming weekend. So without further ado, let's get into my game balls. Our first game ball goes to Dylan Gabriel, quarterback of Central Florida. All he did was throw for 417 yards career high and four touchdowns career high and helped lead Central Florida Knights into what turned out to be a blowout victory over Georgia Tech. Our second game ball goes to Cameron Harris, running back of the U. Yes, 75 yards of his 134 yards might have come on one play, but that was the game breaker, and it's what he did in the other 60 that was a difference maker. And given, in some ways, the level of opponent, I mean, yes, Louisville disappointed on defense, but Miami was the one that slapped him in the face along the way. Game ball goes to Cameron Harris. The third and final game ball of the weekend goes to Oklahoma State linebacker Malcolm Rodriguez. Yes, the offense was very disappointing, but it's his play and the defensive play of the Cowboys that kept them in the game and allowed them to win it late. He had 10 tackles, two of which were for loss. He had had an additional sack on top of that and had two quarterback hurries along the way to help the defense hold on for a victory over Tulsa. And now it's time for my top 25. Again, Thursday night as we go over week four in college football where a lot of SEC is going to be discussed. Not only that, we're going to go into some other big games that might be under the radar a little bit, like Army at Cincinnati. Until then, we'll talk to everybody soon. <laughs> 